The cosmos moves like a living heartbeat. An endless ocean of light and gravity, woven together across unimaginable distances. It isn't still, it breathes, expands, and hums with invisible motion. Every atom, every star, every fragment of dust is part of a greater rhythm, a silent harmony that echoes through eternity. Galaxies swirl through the darkness like vast whirlpools of starlight. Each one is a city of suns, a realm of planets, moons, and mysteries still untold. Some burn bright with the fire of newborn stars, regions where clouds of gas collapse under gravity's pull, igniting new light in the void. Others fade into silence, their stars cooling, their brilliance dimming as they drift toward the quiet end of their cosmic lives. Stars are born in darkness. From cold clouds of gas and dust, gravity shapes them, until pressure and heat awaken fusion at their cores. They shine for millions, even billions of years, forging new elements, the ingredients of worlds and life itself. But even the greatest stars cannot burn forever. Some fade softly into white dwarfs, tiny, cooling embers in the dark. Others collapse into neutron stars, so dense that a teaspoon of their matter would outweigh a mountain. And the most massive of all vanish entirely, falling into black holes where space and time are swallowed whole. These remnants are monuments of time, silent testaments to the rise and fall of creation itself. Planets and moons trace invisible paths around their stars, guided by gravity's unseen threads. Some are frozen wastelands, others are seas of storms and fire, and a few make cradle oceans, air, and the quiet promise of life. Each world tells its own story, written not in words, but in orbits, minerals, and light. Above them all, the universe stretches outward. The very fabric of space expands, pushing galaxies apart as if the spark of the Big Bang still burns within it. There is no edge, no center. No boundary to find, only a growing silence as the stars drift ever farther away. The deeper we look into the night sky, the more the mystery retreats, inviting us to follow. Every discovery brightens the dark, and every revelation opens new questions. It is as if the universe reveals itself piece by piece, testing how far our curiosity can reach. Now, with the James Webb Space Telescope, Humanity peers deeper into cosmic history than ever before. Its golden mirrors capture the faintest ancient light, glimmers from galaxies born soon after time began. This telescope is a time machine, reflecting the universe's first moments across billions of years. Scientists, voices like Brian Cox among them, now ask, can we truly measure infinity? Can we comprehend scales so vast that numbers lose meaning? Perhaps what we see is only a small window into a reality far greater than we can imagine. Maybe the universe ends beyond the limits of our sight, or maybe it never ends at all. Astronomers estimate over two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. Each one, a drifting island of stars, planets, and endless possibilities. Yet even that staggering number may be only a fraction of what exists. Beyond our reach, beyond light itself, may lie realms stranger than anything our minds can picture. Carl Sagan once said, We are a way for the cosmos to know itself, and with every photon caught by Webb's mirror, we come a little closer to understanding not just the universe, but ourselves. We begin this journey by grasping distance. Driving around Earth's equator at highway speed would take more than two weeks. At that same pace, reaching the Moon would take five months, Mars 60 years, and Neptune over 4,000. Voyager 1, launched in 1977 and still racing through space, needed 35 years just to leave the solar system, a single small step beyond our doorstep. Our Milky Way holds over 300 billion stars. The nearest, Alpha Centauri, would take Voyager 70,000 years to reach. Farther still lies Betelgeuse, a dying red giant whose fading light began its journey to us centuries ago.
Beyond that, the Andromeda Galaxy, a trillion suns drifting two and a half million light years away, slowly spiraling toward a future collision with our own. Zoom out, and the scale becomes overwhelming. The Milky Way and Andromeda are part of the local group, which itself belongs to the Virgo Cluster and the vast Laniakea Supercluster, home to over 100,000 galaxies. And yet this colossal network is but a single filament in a grand cosmic web stretching across the universe, 10 million superclusters woven together, divided by immeasurable voids. At the farthest edge of what human eyes can ever see lies a faint, ancient glow, the cosmic microwave background. It is the last light from the birth of everything, the afterglow of creation itself, a whisper from nearly 14 billion years ago still shimmering across the dark. That glow marks the edge of our visible universe, but not the edge of reality. Beyond it, there may be more, galaxies so distant their light will never reach us, hidden forever beyond the expanding horizon of space and time. Their stories are written in light that will never arrive, their existence forever sealed behind the speed of light's unbreakable wall. Some scientists believe the universe might be hundreds of times larger than what we can currently observe, a boundless realm stretching far past our cosmic limits. Others imagine it as truly infinite, a sea without shore, a grand expanse that continues forever in all directions. But no matter how vast, our home remains small, a fragile world adrift in an endless night. A single island of air, water, and life floating through a silent ocean of stars. And yet, here, on this tiny blue planet, the universe has opened its eyes. From dust and fire, it has become aware. The carbon in our cells, the iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones, all were born in the hearts of ancient stars, forged in furnaces of unimaginable heat and pressure, and scattered across space by supernovae so that one day, those atoms could breathe, could think, could dream. We are not separate from the cosmos, we are its reflection, its memory, its voice. The universe has become conscious through us. Every thought, every heartbeat, is a small echo of creation itself. Curiosity is the spark that connects us back to the stars. It drives us to ask what lies beyond the horizon, to peer into the unknown and challenge the limits of knowledge. It is the same force that lit our ancestors' fires that built telescopes and sent machines beyond our world. Today, instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope push that curiosity farther than ever before. Webb's golden mirrors capture the faintest whispers of ancient light, the first galaxies forming, the first stars igniting, the first chemical traces that would one day give rise to life. Each photon it collects is a message from the dawn of time, a glimpse into how the cosmos became what it is today. But with every new discovery come deeper mysteries. The universe is expanding faster than expected, propelled by an unseen force we call dark energy, an invisible pressure that stretches the fabric of space itself. We do not know what it is, only that it now controls the fate of everything. Then there is dark matter, the hidden mass that holds galaxies together, binding stars in orbits we cannot otherwise explain. We cannot see it or touch it, yet without it, the universe would fall apart. And through all of this, one question remains louder than the rest. If life is natural, if the universe is so vast and ancient, then why is it so silent? Are we alone, or have we simply arrived too early, in a cosmic age when other voices have not yet awakened? Or perhaps too late, after civilizations have already risen, spoken, and faded into dust? These questions go beyond science. They are questions of existence, purpose, and destiny. They ask what it means to be aware in a universe that may never answer back. Stars will die. Galaxies will fade. Even atoms may one day decay. And time itself will continue, indifferent, eternal. But here and now, in this brief moment, we exist. We can look up, we can wonder, we can learn, and we can reach for more.
The future of exploration will not only depend on technology or rockets, it will depend on how we see ourselves. Do we view humanity as a temporary species bound to one small world, or as the beginning of something far greater, a seed of consciousness meant to spread among the stars? Our greatest telescopes may one day find life, on a moon under distant suns, in the haze of alien atmospheres, or in faint signals traveling through the void. And when that happens, we will know that our curiosity, our drive to explore, was the universe's own way of knowing itself more deeply. The story of the cosmos is still being written. Every discovery adds a new chapter. And the next begins here, on this pale blue world. A small planet filled with courage, with imagination, with starlight reflected in human eyes. The universe waits, silent, vast, and full of wonder. It invites us to dream, to question, to explore. And perhaps, one day, when we have traveled far enough and understood deeply enough, we will discover that in all its immensity, the universe was never silent at all.